subscribing and leaving comments. Charles Edson is a Bigfoot hunter. For 17 years, he has been on the trail of the creature known as Sasquatch. Not only does he claim to have had many encounters with the thing, but he has taken motion pictures and made plaster casts of what he believes are its footprints. His wife, Ruth, goes with him to set up camp and support the searches. But she admits she's too afraid to spend two weeks at a time hiking any deeper into the wilderness with her husband. Back in 1952 is when I started out hunting Bigfoot. Uh, I was just hunting like a normal hunter does. He goes out in the woods and hunts his game, deer. I hunted a lot of cougar and bear, and then I run onto these tracks, large tracks uh, that were at the time about 18 inches long, and that kind of fascinated me. And I thought it was a hoax. After two years hunting these tracks, it, it made a believer out of me. If you've seen a photograph or a motion picture of Bigfoot, chances are it was the one released in 1967 by Californian Roger Patterson. The film you are about to see, to our knowledge, has never before been broadcast. Edson says he took it 17 years ago. Why has he kept it secret for that long? Well, he explains that he feared that kind of publicity would have filled the forest with amateur Bigfoot hunters and ruined his chances to further study the animal. But since he has been unable to find the creature in recent years, unable to get any new evidence, footprints, patches of hair, or reports of other sightings, he's decided it's time to let the public in on his search in the hopes that others will share information. So he's given us this film. I used to be real scared. When I first started hunting them, I carried a weapon, even with me a gun. Found out probably that's why I never did see them as many times. So I quit carrying that when I got more used to it. I'm out there to, to see what makes it tick. And uh, it hadn't hurt me yet. And I know it won't hurt me now. Are there many other people who share stories? Do you have a sort of a loose network of other people who've cited it? I, I talk to a lot of people. A lot of people know me. And they'll come up to me in, in a QT kind of a way and, and tell me something that they've seen. And they're real serious, they're not joking because, you know, they know I'm not out for a joking hunt. But I'm out there looking for this thing. And, uh, but they won't tell anybody else? No, afraid of being laughed at. And that's, a, that's the trouble of the whole thing. That's why we're not gaining any re response, you know, from people. So we can learn anything because people are scared to talk to each other. And they're afraid of being laughed at. If Bigfoot is so big and lives in California with all of its logging and growing population of hikers and campers, why haven't more people sighted it? Charles Edson says the creature exudes an overpoweringly bad odor, which effectively discourages humans from approaching. This also would account for wild animals leaving it alone. Well, surely we would run across the bones or the hides of dead Bigfoots. Charlie replies that bears and mountain lions die all the time, too. Yet their remains are practically never seen, and they are more populous than Bigfoot. Furthermore, Edson's Bigfoot is too clever to be visible. It has such a keen sense of smell, it can detect metal, lumberjacks, axes, guns, and cameras. It hates noise and will remain far from logging crews or automobiles. And there's no such thing as a Sasquatch nest, either. Being vegetarians, they are constantly on the move, foraging. Uh, there's no evidence around. They're just moving. They don't stay in one place very long. 
but I have found uh, uh, traces of uh, moss and sap. This is what I think they get uh, keep warm in the winter by using moss. The north side of the tree, nature put moss on the north side of the tree to keep that side of the tree warm. They discovered this way to, in the old ancient way of uh, keeping warm, they used moss on over their hair to stuck it to their hair with the sap. Uh, he knows how to uh, uh, scream, he knows how to bounce that noise off a side of a hill or a, or a rock. So uh, a person or, or whoever, maybe an animal, that's how they scare their uh, the predators away. And uh, the smell, there's no animals around every time this creature is in, in the area. I mean around for uh, maybe a mile in the radius because of the smell. And I think that's one reason uh, that it does have a smell. Like a skunk, they, they have a way to let that smell go and scare off something they don't like. It's a defense mechanism. Yeah, right. Now, there have been some people from time to time who have been reported uh, saying such things as, uh, I'll shoot it if I see it, and there have been people actually who have tried to capture it. What do you feel about that type of uh, attitude toward the creature? I don't think anybody will ever capture it. Uh, he can maneuver better up in, in, the, in the tall timber and rocks and stuff than we. He knows uh, the boulevards up there better than we know ours. And uh, but uh, and, and there's something mysterious about this creature that I have not been able to explain to myself. The thing can detect you before you're in the area. And uh, I don't know. It, it's, it's smarter than we are in that sense. Now, you say you may sometimes spend a week way out in true wilderness in the middle of nowhere. Where do you get maps or charts for places like these? No, you don't. You go without any any right. map or anything? Well, I don't. Most you got a people, compass? No. Uh, Wait, people do, but I don't. <laughs> no compass, no map? No, it's just something else you have to carry. What I about a hatchet, it. maybe? No, I don't carry a hatchet even. I carry a little pocket knife. Well, we didn't see any sign of Bigfoot when Evening Magazine went on a hunt with this woodsman. We do not even know that the creature exists. But we do know that this is one heck of a woodsman. Part Indian, with an iron constitution, there's no doubt that he could survive weeks in the wilderness. And we do know that Charles Edson will probably spend the rest of his life out there in search of Bigfoot. all this rare and unique content, please show your support by subscribing and leaving comments.